Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, okay, so for today's video, we're going to have a an update of the newer handbags that I have gotten recently. And I, I think these are mostly going to be uh, focusing on the quiet luxury handbags that I've gotten. So I'm talking about the Maison de Sabre, the uh, Gra APC Grace bag, and the Ateliers Auguste Mini Monceau bag. So those are the three new handbags that I've gotten or added to my collection. And um, I have been able to use them quite a bit. So kind of have a good idea as to kind of like what I like, what I don't like about them, and do I recommend them. It's not going to be a an in-depth review um unfortunately it's more more so kind of like what i thought um kind of like a not really a first impression but like a quick quick update basically so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so for this one right here this is the um maison de sabre and it's the mini mini handbag i don't remember exactly the name of it but i have when i um got this i use it quite a bit so i'll i really like the size of it and um me being liking a lot of like mini handbags i think it's a really good size because it's not too big it's not too small it does fit quite a bit as far as kind of um you know your essentials and whatnot actually um, give me one second. Let me go ahead and get a phone, my phone case just to kind of show you exactly what it can fit inside. Okay, so I'm back. Um, this is just my phone case and essentially it's going to be kind of like, you know, my phone but without the phone. Um, this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So it's the biggest size and if you wanted to know if it fits, it fits, you know, just fine. Um, not a lot of room for it to move, but for the biggest size phone, if you have that, you know that it's going to fit. And for the other items that I usually carry with me, um, I usually have my mini pochette or toiletry 15 or, and then I know some sort of like a, a card case. So if I put the card case in here it would still fit that's fine but if i'm going to put the mini pochette inside there's not just like there's not going to be any room um so you're going to have to basically take out all um you know take out all the stuff that's in here and then you can just kind of like fit so it is a mini mini bag um and for just kind of like essentials that you if you don't have a lot of stuff that you usually carry it might be okay but if you are someone who carries a lot of stuff that might not work for you um when i was using this i one thing that i noticed is the strap keeps detaching and i don't know if you can kind of like see what i mean by that but basically this little um snap thingy right here it's very loose so what i notice is that every time that i use that every time but most of the time when i use it this one would kind of like come undone and it's like really annoying so i think one time i was like walking and then all of a sudden it just kind of like detached like that so um i have reached out to Maison de Sabre and they're very uh they're very first of all very responsive with um any type of inquiry but basically what's going to happen is i'm going to have to send this back to them which is in australia um so that they could either repair it or maybe replace it but i haven't gotten the chance to do that yet um just because you know life has been crazy busy and to send this little guy to australia it's gonna take it's gonna be so much so i've been kind of like just thinking about is it even worth to send it back um but yeah as far as kind of like the leather um it's holding up okay i don't see any scratches whatsoever i think mainly because the leather is actually um pebbled leather so it's going to be very hard wearing and that is all throughout the bag so you can see this is pebbled leather. There's a little bit of like a slip pocket right here where you usually put receipts or cash if there's, you know, if you have that. Um, but overall, it's just a really cute bag. Do I recommend it? Um, if I feel, if, if, if this is just kind of like a one-off thing, and maybe it is, I don't know, because I've never had this brand before. Yes, because it's a really nice, it's, it's a nice bag. It's a nice structure. 
it's got a really good um you know good weight to it for as far as like the leather goes but if the snap strap thingy is going to be i don't know if that's the case for all of their bags then probably i you know probably not but maybe this is just what mine is so i think i can see right here that if it hits the bag it kind of like opens like that so that's probably what's happening when i'm wearing it and it's really just like it's not cool um but yeah do i like it i do i just wish that the strap didn't really do that okay um let's see so what does it look like i don't know if i can actually show a full body thing because i don't have a lot of room but this comes with a small strap and it comes with a longer strap also so it comes with this one right here which is a longer strap where you can attach it to this one right here to make it more of a crossbody or shoulder so there's a lot of like versus it's very versatile as far as the bag is concerned and i wish that the strap did not do that because it was just really defeating the purpose of having a bag i think this one is also going to be the same so i think it has something to do with how loose the lock is if they make this a little bit more i guess stiff or less easy to be opened i think it would be perfect all right so next up is going to be this one right here which is the newest addition to my collection this is the ateliers atelier atelier august mini monceau bag in black um box leather with a gold edition as you can see um so this the hardware is still in really really good condition um i mean it's, it should it's pretty much new uh, no scratches that i can see whatsoever on the hardware or on the um leather itself can be a um a little bit of um what do you call this I do use sunscreen so i feel like it will kind of like show but you can easily like wipe that off but the bag itself is in really good condition my issue with this one being the um newest addition to my collection and i barely used it i probably have used it like one time um i'm noticing that i don't know if it will show but the the strap on one side is basically coming it's not coming off but i don't know there you go um the glue part is kind of like coming undone which is not cool because it's a new bag and um i know that they have kind of like reinforced it with some stitching right there which is good so you know that it should not lift the whole way through but it is a new bag and i don't know why it's doing that so i have reached out to them and they said that i can uh well they, at first they're like well this is not the quality that we expected of course um they did say that they just kind of like they changed their stitching recently so that must have been it or why but they said that they could give me a 10 percent discount additional to you know you know my purchase price um and i said well i totally understand um and thank you for the 10 percent discount but i'm not really interested in keeping a bag that's kind of like you know have issues right off the bat so this one is actually going back unfortunately as pretty as it is um it has to go back because yes it's not as expensive as say uh, louis vuitton or chanel or you know ysl but you still pay i still paid a really good price for that i mean a, you know a fair amount of price a fair amount of money for this one so i'm expecting quality um other than that i don't think there's anything else that i can say oh i guess this right here so this i have to kind of like constantly adjust versus this one just or maybe it's the other one i don't know something about this strap it's like kind of annoying um so i decided that this one is going to be uh returned unfortunately um, as far as like what fits inside, it actually can fit a decent amount. What is in here? Um, let's see. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, and you can actually fit. You can fit the mini pochette inside, not a problem. There's still a ton of space. 
You can fit your phone. Again, that's the um, 13 Pro Max, no, 14 Pro Max. And you can still fit this card holder right here. And it closed, no problem. So um, what I also really, really like about this, it's very thin as far as like the profile, it's not very thick. And you can fit, a, you know, quite a bit, not a lot, because it's still considered as not really a mini, but like on the smaller side. Um, they did come in a bigger size if you guys are, you know, needing more space. But for what I need, it's kind of like, this is perfect. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty light, so there, it's not really heavy. And I really like the look of it. It's just that for me, a bag that's, that this new should not be having those issues. And again, it's probably one of those things where... Um, they just changed something recently and, you know, maybe it will be fixed, hopefully, so that um, they can continue to provide really good purses for a really good price. Um, and maybe I'll try them again eventually, but for now, this one is going to have to go back. All right, so the last update that I have is going to be for the APC Grace small bag small grace bag that i've gotten also a little bit recently um i was able to use that bag probably two to three times and i ended up selling it because i really did the, the as, as gorgeous as the bag the leather the quality the structure everything was great the size was good the hardware was so like scratch magnet um and i've been very careful about you know using the bag i make sure to like not um bang it on anything or if i'm going to be i'm going to make like a cover the hardware when i am about to like you know pass through a door or whatever but it still managed to get scratch it's not a lot but i was like this is only the second or third time that i've worn it and it's already got um scratches so that wasn't really cool and i knowing me i know that it would probably bother me a lot more um the more i use it so i ended up selling it um that's the only con that i have for that one because the strap everything about it was great and so i wish this the hardware was a little bit more along the lines of like brush gold so that it's a little or age gold so that it doesn't show scratch quite a bit but yeah um if it doesn't bother you if scratches don't bother you when it comes to handbag i think it would be a really really good addition to your collection especially if you've been kind of like looking at it or looking yeah looking at it um but if you know that you're going to be bothered by scratches i don't think it's going to be uh, for you um, I think that's all I have. Uh, if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff that I have talked about today, please don't forget to, um, well, comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I'm planning to do a lot more um, reviews uh, over the next couple of weeks or so. So hopefully I'll be able to like film them and, um, you know, make them live. That's all I have. So stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.